Well, again, you see a lot of ads on TV for Nexium and many of the what they call protonics, medicines to inhibit people's stomach acid. And the fallacy is most people who have acid reflux or heartburn don't have too much acid. If anything, they have an inadequate amount of acid, either a decreased or absent amount of acid. Now, how does that happen? Well, if you don't have enough acid in your stomach, you can't break down the protein properly into the amino acids, and you can get heartburn. And the typical conventional response is to give you medicine to inhibit that stomach acid. When we test people, we have them swallow a capsule, put a belt around them while they read a magazine in an non-invasive way, and they're able to measure their stomach acid. Matter of fact, 95% of people with acid reflux need stomach acid, and the minute you either change the food they eat or the ability to improve their digestion, the acid reflux goes away. How many people constipation just resolve transit time? Should move your bowels every 12 to 18 hours. Many times when that's delayed, food could just reflex back and to inhibit that acid, if anything, that inhibits function and causes other downstream consequences, like chronic yeast problems, food chemical sensitivities, and other things you can't even absorb your foods properly. And they've obviously done a study to to show when you give people medicine to inhibit your stomach acid, it really sets you up for osteoporosis and thinning of bone. And it's not such a surprise. If you can't absorb your foods or your calcium, it's going to set you up for thinning of bones as well. So I think it's a, there's lots of perils with many of the drugs to inhibit stomach acid.